being a young hustler dealing drugs on the streets of Southside Queens, Curtis Jackson, known as 50 Cent, was always in danger. The fight for territory with other hustlers or being followed by the police or the constant need to be on his guard while dealing because his clients might get upset. Those were the main problems back then. He had to focus on what's going on around him, feeling the heartbeat of the streets or learning to keep his head up so he can see who's trouble and also for new opportunities. So the first big idea is see things for what they are. You can be full of book knowledge but have no real sense of what's going on around you. He was a realist. Simply put, realists are not afraid to look at the harsh circumstances of life. Their attention to details and to people's intentions must be on another level. Like any muscle that is trained, they develop the capacity to see with more intensity. Napoleon is the greatest general who ever lived and he was above the others thanks to his capacity to absorb a large mass of information about all the details of the battle. This gave him a superior grasp on reality. The second big idea is make everything your own, self-reliance. Even if he was working for others, 50 Cent was doing that only so he can get more knowledge about how business worked. He had a plan. The thing is that when you work for others, you are at their mercy. They own your work and they own you. So what keeps you in this position is the fact that you are too afraid to do things on your own and is more comfortable to simply go to a brainless job and get paid at the end of the month. But the thing is that you should fear of what will happen to you if you remain dependent of others for power. When it's yours to lose, you are more motivated and more creative and you love the grind and the struggle and you feel more alive. The ultimate power in life is to be more self-reliant. Now the third big idea is turn crap into sugar. In May 2000, a hired assassin shot 9 bullets into 50 cent and one bullet went through his jaw and nearly killed him. All he had built was now going in reverse. Columbia Records dropped 50 Cent from his contract and cancelled the release of his new record. But could this be the end? He went through his grandparents' house so he can recover from the wounds. Now he had time to contemplate. He had a lot of time to listen to the radio and he noticed that the music was fake. The lyrics did not reflect anything about the life on the streets he knew. 50 was never a fake gangster rapper and now that he got shot he had 9 bullets to prove it. He got shot in a jaw and now his voice sounded different. There was more pain in it. So he transformed this into a power, into something different and the proof that he was a real deal. The fourth big idea is simply keep moving. In the late 1980s, with crack cocaine on the street, a new world was created. With this new insanity growing day after day, it was hard for 50 to control it. He needed a structure, he needed a new skill set and a different mentality. So he let go of any desire to dominate the area with only one operation. Now he started experimenting with four or five ways to make money at the same time. He bet that one of the angles would work and pay for all the others. And this works either way around. If one of his hustles failed, he would still have the other. He kept moving. Diversity was the key and the mystery, he was unpredictable. By operating this way, 50 slowly gathered more and more money and influence. <laughs> so applying this to our everyday life, we can think and figure out ways to start a few hustles for our own purposes. Living in the era of internet, you can easily start a blog, create music, paint and sell your work on different websites, write a book and many many other things. The sky is the limit and you have to keep moving. Big idea number 5 is know when to be bad. <laughs> By this I don't mean that you can beat up your competitor so you can sell whatever you're selling, but to be bad in a smart way. Being alone on the streets night after night, 50 Cent had to create an image for himself. He had to keep the other hustlers away by maintaining a bad boy attitude and this way the other hustlers will take him seriously. You have to stand up for yourself and don't let people get all over you. By standing next to your ideas and principles, people will respect you more. 